Finally worked. Okay, uh, it seems like there's no viewers. This also took 15 minutes for us to figure out. Anyways. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, this might not be the most live, live workout that we've made. It'll be better next time. Yeah, Promise. we're still new to it. Anyways, if you tune in, we'll make this like the only part. Um, we are gonna do three sets of five exercises. And um, if you wanna support us, you can super chat and donate a little money for us and the channel. If you wanna see how you can use this as a full workout or as a part of a training program, you can check the description below. There will be, uh, there'll be a program that I made that you can download anytime. And um, I think that's all you gotta know. Thanks a lot for, uh, for watching. Thanks for uh, tuning in on these. Let us know in the comment section if you have any questions or just say hi to let us know that you're there. We appreciate all the shares on social media and uh, we're proud to like have so many people join this yeah. kind of home training revolution thing we're, uh, we're running here. Kind of make it more fun. Yeah, it sure does. It's motivating for us as well to see that we're part of a little community with this online training stuff. Nice to see that people are here. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's really cool for us. And we hope that you enjoy it as well. Uh, for warm-up, I mentioned that it would be nice to to do a warm-up before these exercise cause, cause exercises, because some of them are pretty hard. And I will upload a video with six or seven warm-up exercises that you can also do in very limited space. So you can be warm for our next live on Saturday. Uh, let's get to it. Sophia's gonna take you through Ciao, Francesco. Sofia is going to take you through the different exercises and uh, I'll try and demonstrate in the background. And then we'll also like talk about them as we go. Yeah, the other yeah, ones though. Like, yeah, we can't really f end them on the phone. That's, uh, that's a little annoying. So if, if any of you can go back in that other one, comment, they're here. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really nice. Then people would be able to find us. But um, let's get to it. So we will repeat, we'll have five exercises, three sets, five minutes in between each set. And these are five exercises. The first one called side extension taps. We do three times each leg and switch. For the short protocol, it's two minutes and one minute rest. For me, I'll do one and a half minute, one and a half minute rest. And if this is the first time for you, you can do one minute, one minute, one minute, two minutes rest. Yeah. So yeah. we made three different protocols. If you're a beginner, you can do one minute exercise, two minutes rest. If you're intermediate, you can do one and a half, one and a half. And if you're elite or just want a really hard workout, you can do two uh -huh. minutes on, one minute off. Like this guy. He's a beast. Uh, the second one called hops. This is my least favorite exercise. It's hard to to keep the balance, but also three jumps one side, three jumps other side. Yeah, also two minutes, one minute rest, or one and a half, one and a half, or one, two, whatever works for you. And the third one is uh, circles. That's, it's also not the easiest one. Uh, you gotta do three circles with one of your legs. Make sure to keep that balance and shoulders relaxed. Uh, yeah, three one leg, three other, same. Two minutes, one, one and a half, one and a half, or one, two. Uh, the fourth one calls transfer. This is my favorite. Transfer, pro. transfer exercise. It's really good for basic straight, straight away. This is just you don't need to count in this one, it's just, just set the timer and go for it. The fourth calls, oh, this is his favorite exercise. I hate that. <laughs> up downs. One, exercise. one leg up downs. Uh, you go 30 seconds, one leg, 30 seconds, other leg, right? So if you do for two minutes, you would want to go 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. If you do one minute, it would be 15, 15, 15, 15. 
Or if you go for a... One and a half, it will be 20, 20, yeah. 20, 20. You can cut a little on that one. In the original live, this is our second, probably our fifth live, because uh, we messed up a few <laughs> times. There's a description, I'll copy that into this one, so if you, you're not watching this live, you can still uh, like quickly see through the five exercises and, and do it whenever you feel like it. But I'll do that once we're done, because uh, we're kind of busy. Are we ready to go? Let's do it. If you have any questions as we go along, comment. Can we see comments? We found a way to actually view the comments this time. All right, we're starting in 30 seconds. Oh. Cool to see that we really, even though we had some trouble, uh, some technical issues, <laughs> uh, we still got 11, 12 viewers with us here. Um, that's nice. Got 20 seconds to go. I hope. Oh, more peer. Hello, sir. Also, Thanks for joining. If you have any questions, write them down and we'll try to answer them when we're ready. Yeah. And uh, yeah, make sure to super chat. Um, you're going to donate a few money to us for us to run this channel. And uh, your question is going to be highlighted. So we'll answer that first. We're starting in three seconds. Extension taps. Let's go. So make sure to actually touch the ground with your leg. Yep. I forgot to mention. So the goal here is that the only thing that actually moves is this leg. You want to use, uh, I think it's called the gluteus medius, the upper part of your butt <laughs> on the side to like engage that and work that to raise the leg. So the reason why we want to tap down into the ground between every rep is so that we get that deactivation or reactivation of the muscle, muscle which makes it a little harder. That was the first minute. One minute, all of us, and we're ready for the next one. The tiny yet painful jumps. Sophia and I thought about making a, a separate question because during the last workout we got a lot of comments that we didn't have time to, to answer. Uh, so we thought about making a separate Q&A, like question and answer, where uh, we're not going to work out, we're just going to answer different questions that you people, you viewers, followers might have on whatever it could be us, it could be equipment, the workouts, anything you can think of. And uh, if that's something you'd like to see, let us know. And we'll, uh, we'll fit that in. Yeah. We start again in 10 seconds. Uh -huh. yeah. Ready, five.
almost halfway. program, it's time for your rest. Awesome. Lindsay, some calves work out. Some calves work out? <laughs> A very specific muscle group you got there. I think grinding upside and downhill will be good. <laughs> and rest. I don't know. I got never a... thought about my calves. <laughs> <laughs> I think the the calves are not like the main reason you uh, you get tired when you're skating. It's not gonna be oh, it's a good save. It's not gonna be the limiting factor. Uh, calf fatigue went out when I was skating. This is not something we've really looked at in the training programs. We've got 30 seconds till we go again. Um, I think some of the simpler way if it's for aesthetical purposes or like to look fucking jacked. Uh, any calf raises would do is find a staircase and just take one step, go like that. That would be an easy way. Uh, just do stairs, quick steps on stairs. It's also gonna activate the calves. If we can make a video about blades and slide board. We're starting in two, one, circle. Yeah, it's definitely two interesting subjects. Either a video about blades. I do already have on the channel a previous live stream of my coach where he Explained through 30, 30 minutes video how to perfectly sharpen your ice skating blades. Uh, I think for blades, Sophia might be a little more experienced than me, uh, so maybe that's that's for her to help out with that. Only short ice skate blades. technical perspective of the first minute um, but definitely go check that out uh, it took me a while to make I'm drawing some different lines to show like what position you should have at what moments and where to put your weight at the right time and that was one and a half Burn quiz. I was bored. I feel the sun burning more. Yeah. I feel like a redneck tonight. Probably gonna get some sunburn. Last five. And rest for the rest. So yeah, video on slide board, uh, how to put your blades. Are we talking ice skating blades or inline frames here? A short track skates or? <laughs> short track is all to the left. <laughs> no, it's definitely, it's a very individual question. Hey Turkey, hey Russia, we need an expert here. 30 seconds till we go again. Cool to have Turkish people with us. 20 seconds. Do we remember what's next? Uh, yes, transfer. Weight transfer. Sophia special. We 
start in 10 seconds. So this one, you just want to keep everything parallel to the ground. And slow movement. Ready in three, two, one, let's go. Make sure to get the body weight and the hip all the way to the side. So you're not just standing in the middle of it. We're not going to do it because we already did our extension taps. But to make sure that you're all the way on one side, you try to lift that to make sure there's no weight on it. Don't do it too often though, because it hurts. So the shoulders shouldn't move up or down at any time. Even the hips should be in the exact same height. Just feel them rocking from side to side. Already halfway, you're doing one and a half. <laughs> Sophia is a good example on how to use the arms. That was the first minute. good to check where your body is, check how it looks. Like I said, to make sure they have the hip all out here, you want to create a straight line from knee to shoulders to foot. And that was one and a half. Also, and five seconds. Also, it's cool to look at the phone and not in your face. <laughs> I really hope it's burning, <laughs> otherwise it's off. Five more seconds. Oh, the other day I was out biking <laughs> and I saw there's nobody else than me. And there's this massive dove coming towards me and we even had eye contact and all and then just pooped right at me. Just felt so out of balance, almost crashed. <laughs> Sued him afterwards. Hola, Espanol. Let's go, hi. Oh yeah, that is late. 30. Pretty cool to have Australians watching. Uh, I see a lot of different people. It's really nice for you to say hi. Let's us know that we're not alone in the in the suffering. 15 seconds before we go again. You got first sweat? Yes, I always get first drops. So they have the excuse. All right, for this one, I do 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Oh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Or 15, 15, 15, 15. Restart in three seconds. I can also. And go. Terrible exercise. That was 15. Make sure to limit the rest as you go from one leg to the other. You can even make sure to make sure you can do it at the bottom. And that was the last 20. Sophia might have missed that point. She's a big fan of this, can't get enough. I cannot relate. And switch for the last time. I'm done, right? You're done, it's a while ago. Okay. I just very like this. <laughs> I'm a fan.
last five. And we rest. You're done with the first one? So I have one. Two to go. I might go for two minutes for this last one. Let's Damn. See. Yeah. I don't speak Russian, so you gotta oh, answer. Oh wait. <laughs> I, what is? Oh no. It's I, I was thinking about this one. Well. <laughs> In skating, there's no reason to not. Somebody asked if when we do the weight transfer, we should fully extend the other leg uh, that we're not having any weight on. When we're out skating, uh, there's no reason to not fully extend the leg. So here it would also be a good idea to, to straighten it. Uh, if you don't, uh, it's not the, like the main goal of the exercise is not to develop that skill. It's just to feel that transfer from weight to her side to side so you can even uh, you still get the feel of weight transfer even if you stay a little more compact and just feel it. So you don't necessarily have to straighten the leg all the way. Um, but I would say yes. Yeah, there's no reason I would recommend to, to create bad habits. Yeah. Also gives you the longer push when you skate, when you stand up. The hook. Yeah. Is that Russian? Un apa? She... She did that. I don't know what it means. <laughs> but it's nice to see Russian people here. Korea good. Yeah. Korea good. <laughs> so is Portugal. <laughs> cool. This is a very uh, international training workout. It's it's nice to see so many countries joining. Thank you. Thank you too. Oh, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we can do a little advertisement for our next workout on Saturday, same time, same place, <laughs> at home. And um, <laughs> it's going to be a little different. It's going to be different exercises, uh, but the whole setup of the workout is going to be pretty similar. And so are the intensities. There's no reason not to join. And also it's the weekend, so you don't even have any excuses. Yeah, and again, if you want to support us, you can super chat. I don't want to mention it too often because it sounds like spam, and uh, that's not the reason we do this. But feel free to uh, to hit that button, and uh, and your comment is going to be highlighted, and you can choose the amount whether you want to donate one dollar or ten dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever you feel like. And uh, we're gonna go in depth with that one comment and, and try and answer your question. It doesn't have to be a question. You can also just say hi and and show us some love. Again, if the live stream suddenly shuts down, we'll start a new one right away on the channel. Uh, it happened last time, might happen again. We're not really sure why, um, but we'll figure that out somehow, at some point. It's so dark, the screen is so dark, huh? The screen got a little dark. It's like a YouTube saving energy function. <laughs> Now we have a big rest, like five-ish minutes. Yeah. We're already down to... Yeah, about a minute and we're going again. So, uh, get psyched, get ready. If you're tired of our voices, you can put on some nice music. Uh, you can still see what we're doing. And uh, the rest of the workout is just gonna be what we already done. So, uh, there's not gonna be anything new. We're still gonna make some technical comments and we're of course gonna answer as many comments yours as we can. Um, but the actual exercise is gonna be a repetition of what we did. And we're gonna do that two more times. So if the video shuts down, don't quit. And we yeah. also won't quit. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, we blame YouTube. All right, we're ready to go again in 30 seconds. Second part comes naturally, so. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your legs straight. That is true. 
and shoulders relax. In five seconds. Looking them forward. Two yamas. Two, one, good. Three on each leg. Let everybody know that there is a massive chance of feeling extreme soreness tomorrow. <laughs> We've done this. Especially if it's your first time. <laughs> yeah. Then try and avoid stairs, walking, bending your knees. We're almost at one minute. And that was the first minute. It's getting warm here. Yeah. We said this in our previous workout videos, but we're still super interested to see how you guys stay fit at home. So if you have any good ideas that you want to share with the rest, our little training group, go ahead. And that was one and a half. I didn't miss it, but I wouldn't. I won't miss my two minutes though. Five to go. Привет, привет. Привет, Сю. Thanks again from Australia. See you Saturday. Cool. See you Saturday. Yeah, and uh, thanks a lot for all the shares on Facebook, Instagram, and yeah, and whatever social media you guys are uh, are using. It's pretty cool. The more people we get here, the more motivated we're all gonna be. Yeah. And it's. Uh, Pretty cool to see. Once again, it's more fun to do the workout like that than to just walk. Yeah, it hurt the same, but <laughs> hurt with a smile. Fifteen. We got some tiny hops. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready. Five. The brain is looking good. Let's go. Three to each side. Jump from a low position and land in a low position. Whether you want to use the hands like Sophia, use the arms, or you're going to try and keep them on the back like me, that's totally up to you. You like just keep the support coming. I feel like it's also some color. <laughs> the first minute. Solid. One fifteen. Medium level coming to an end. Last five. And rest. Just 30 seconds to go.
to make to recovery. And rest for all time. Yes. Don't just sit on the couch in the rest in between. It's gonna hurt you in the end of it. So what do we have? Hello India, thanks for uh, watching the videos we make. How many times we should do dry land in a week, especially during COVID lockdown? Good question. Um, I made a full training program that you can see in the, not the description of this video, but in just about all of the other videos on my YouTube channel. In the description, there's a link to a full training program where you can see how often I think you should do dry land. It's about two to three times a week. Maybe this time, I was about to say this time of the year, this time of the uh, history of the earth, uh, <laughs> maybe three times a week, uh, as much as you can. And you can change inline skating or substitute inline skating with this. Oof, and we are starting again. Circles. Good old circles. So yeah, normally I would say once or twice a week and during the whole Corona thing, maybe three times. What do you say, Sophia? Yeah, three, three times would be good, but if you have like home trainer or running track, it would be good to switch it with the aerobic exercises just to keep your aerobic shape. Yeah, indeed. Uh, if you have a heart rate monitor, you're probably gonna notice that even though this really burns, your heart rate is not getting super high. And in order to get that part of the workout in, aerobic workouts on a bike or jogs are much better or than functional this. functional trainer, if you don't have either, you can just Google some functional home training and do those exercises just to keep your heart rate up. That was one minute. If you want to stay in like, the whole theme of skating, you can check out the channel. There's some different jump workouts. Uh, there's one with Sophia actually, with some more dynamic dry land. That you can uh, you can mix it up so it's not as static as as what we're doing right now. And one and a half minute is coming to an end. <laughs> I heard the breeze. I got that first drop of sweat. Oh yeah, I got the tent. <laughs> I said look through the eyebrows, like look through the the, the drops, the waterfall. And rest for the rest muscle. Ooh, we're actually more than halfway through. Yeah. Two more and one more set. Oh yeah, pleasure. Hope that was uh useful. Yeah. It really depends on the skater. It uh, depends on the age. If and your you, goals. Yeah, your <laughs> goals. I mean, if we're all honest, this is not the most fun part about being a skater. Uh, that's the actual skating, I think, for most of us. Yeah. Some of us just the recovery days. <laughs> but um it's an unnecessary part. Really. Yeah, this makes the skating a lot more fun, especially the last few laps of a race. Uh, all burns. <laughs> yeah, then it burns a little less. <laughs> Probably still burns, you're just more used to it. We're going in 10. Yes, transfer. Not the worst. Not the worst. I would say the best. <laughs> and I'm done. And go. Hope you really enjoy the last bit of this workout. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what, what exercises you, you enjoy the most. Yeah, let us know what exercise are your favorite. <laughs> Is this where we should stay and we'll try and do more of that? I don't know who will though. We'll just do more dry line. Make sure to get some good food after this from recovery. We already burned 500 calories. We're going straight to a shawarma place. <laughs> Takeaway, of course. But that's been that's been the plan since this morning. I really like shawarma. <laughs>
It's a habit. Did a little tradition now. That's really nice. That was the first minute. I try and sound science. I try and sound more excited. <laughs> there's at least one comment coming in every 10 seconds. Sophia, just keep doing one leg up down. Yeah, if you guys tell me, I oh, will. If I disappear with the phone, that's because I'm coming. And rest for all. Oh. Warm. Oh. You can say see anything. No, we can try and switch. Any tip or advice? when alarming god so sunny can't complain when alarm time finish indoor better than long track i'm not sure i understand that uh, i would say it's nicer to do long track than staying indoor if you can pick i would do long track indoors that would that would be a good mix could you make exercises for crossover? Yeah, I think the, be the best crossover exercises is belt or corner belt or yeah. elastic. Two, one, go. I love when you people ask about things that are already on the channel. Uh, I feel like I have to answer it. Well, for, um, for crossover exercises, like Sophia just said, Cable workouts are the best. Uh, yeah, I think that's really the best. It's, it's the one that comes the closest to actual skating. Uh, there's a video of four different ways to do it on my YouTube uh, that you can check out. And that was 30. If not, uh, do stairs. You can do crossovers and stairs. It makes it a little less awkward than doing on a if doing it on the flat. Uh, again, there's also a video on that. is in charge of 20 seconds. <laughs> so, <laughs> and we switch. That was the first minute. Let me know if you think I should do two minutes like Victor. Yes. If you don't tell me, I would do the same. The same. How many people does it take to convince you? And rest. I don't know. At least a few. Oh, at least a few. If we can get five, a handful, Sophia should definitely do it. I'm the first. I mean, after the period of COVID, I guess we're going to be at least months without skates. By the way, great exercise. Oh, thanks. So if we go back to see the actual question, any tip or advice when the alarm finishes? Is indoor better than long track? Well, indoor is, well, long track is for sure better than this. Um, but if there's still COVID-19 restrictions and you can't do long track, this is the only option. So that would be better. Yeah. All right. I'm just about to try inline for the first time. Oh, yeah. We should have mentioned that. Yeah. Yeah. Inline is nice. Uh, 
it's a little more dynamic than skating on ice, but it's super easy. You can do it almost anywhere. Uh, how to put your plates and speed skating shoes. Oh, speaking of Sophia doing inline. Like Sophia just said, uh, she's gonna do inline skating. And why yeah. is that? Hmm? Why? Uh, why? Because you must be convinced. <laughs> Right. Yeah, but if you stay in the same situation, it's the best way to keep my skin shape and yeah, it will be easier to go back on the ice when it times. Yeah, there's no doubt that inline skating and ice skating are super closely related. Uh, same muscle groups, almost the same movements, some might be a little different, but it's the same pattern. Um, so when you can do the the sport that you, you do professionally, for in Sophia's case, it's short track skating for me is long track we do inline skating because uh, it's an option and uh, also it's a lot easier to get more kilometers in more time in the skating position because it's just not as uh, statically hard for the muscles can you make a video on how to put blades on the shoes we will I mean speed skating shoes right are we talking inlines or ice skating both maybe short track right? just in case <laughs> I guess I'm doing one in half. Ice skating. Yeah, we can do that. Um, that's gonna be delayed a little by the fact that we don't have ice skates here. Uh, we went to Portugal. We didn't expect to be ice skating, so we didn't bring them. Um, Sophia is receiving her brand new inline skates yeah. in very little time. Uh, so we'll make one on how to set up the inlines. How to put all that together. <laughs> Hell no! Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you for coming live, sir. My off skate workout has ended. Now I'm starting off of body workouts. Solid! Yeah. Thought everybody, every day was leg day. Nah, it should. Yeah. We also did a little bit of upper body, mostly core this morning. Yeah, I did some bench press. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> On our balcony, we don't, we can't access gyms here uh, because of the lockdown corona situation. But uh, as soon as we heard about it, we bought all the weightlifting equipment. So we have a bar and 81 kilograms. <laughs> yeah, it makes a lot of fun of me that they do bench press on the ground. I don't care. So we don't have a bench. <laughs> I, on the other hand, just accepted to not have any chest. Yeah. Are you going soon? No, we still got a minute. Okay. Just felt like shaking it. How's it going with you guys? Is this easy? Is this hard? Is it medium hard? Is it medium hard? Maybe we should drink a little. Yeah, stay Here hydrated. Can we get those comments so Sophia has to do two minutes? God, I wish I had like an extra phone and I could just comment. Be careful, someone will steal your cam. I think we're safe here. There's no people. We chose the safest place. So if we can uh, flip the camera around, I think you will have nothing to worry about. That. This is uh, what's behind the camera. Air and Portuguese forest. Thank you. All right. You guys ready? Then we start again in 30 seconds. Last set. community being so nice to Sophia. I wonder if we'd made the opposite poll. Should Victor just do one minute <laughs> forward? <laughs> Bunch of comments. All right, let's get at it in five seconds. 
make sure to be as low as in the other sets, even though it hurts more. Two, one. Bye bye. forward through the arrows. <laughs> and first minute down. Out there. Those three minutes. <laughs> what? Three minutes or pump. Three minute wall sit. Three minutes is too rough. Three. I assume that was a comment to Sophia. No, no, no. I can't go for one and half the Alright, no sacrifice for you two. <laughs> Guess we lost the billion views right there. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm, I might actually trade three minutes of wall set for the rest of this. And that'll be it. If the Uber Eats gets here. No. 15 seconds. Come on. Tiny, tiny hops. Outwards. And five. Last time, so enjoy it. You <laughs> won't get the chance if you do actually get the chances. And go. Jump low. Catch low, stay low. Make sure everything points forward. Not twisting around with the leg or the upper body. Also don't jump up with the upper body. Cause that's the best way to lose power and speed when you're skating. for some lower width or halfway width. Notice how we talk less and less? Yeah. <laughs> it's not that we don't want to, we just don't want to. Uh, 
in three, two, one. Done with that one. Three more. Three more. Ooh. I'm sweating now. Yeah. Huh. Or pump. Dive for speed skating. Please make a video about dive for skating. That would be cool. Uh, Special dive for speed skaters? Yeah. I don't know if there's any like specific diet recommendations for skaters, but <laughs> they should be similar to most other semi-aerobic, semi-anaerobic sports yeah. out there. Uh, I'm a little busy writing my bachelor on health and nutrition right now, uh, but that would be interesting. Um, oh, starting in 10. <laughs> Let's see how much talk about diet for skaters we can get in here. <laughs> Worst, worst time. Two, one. Became longer than that time. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say, Sophia? How should skaters eat? Oh, I love lots of carbs, moderate protein and fats. Yeah. I think it's more about looking at like every workout individually. If it's a bike workout, like Sophia said, you want to eat a lot of carbohydrates. Um, even for this, right after a workout like this, you want to probably combine a high intake of carbohydrates and protein as well, just to optimize recovery. Um, it is, like in most sports, important to be like, physically lean, to not have too much uh, fat mass and try and be leaner in that way. Uh, not to the same extent as you would see in cycling or other sports where you fight gravity to a larger extent, uh, but for sure. The more weight you carry around, the harder it's going to be. But if we look at skating, especially short track, uh, same goes for most long track distances. They're really sprint distances when you compare it to cycling or running. Um, so you want to build muscle. So don't go, don't go too easy with the energy intake. Especially if you're like a younger athlete still growing. Make sure to do it fast. Uh, I actually just read through a study that suggests that you can boost uh, glycogen synthesis or resynthesis, like recovery, after a workout by 45% if you eat the recovery meal right after the workout instead of two hours later. So bring something and don't wait for dinner. <laughs> and yeah, it also depends who you are. Like, the reason we care so much about recovery meals is because we have a workout tomorrow. We had a workout this morning. If you do three workouts a week and you just want to lose a little fat as well, it's not that important, maybe. Yeah. Oof, 15 seconds. Too late to comment and tell Sophia to do two full <laughs> fucking minutes of that last one leg squat. You know, I was interested. Somebody with more authority than me. We would all enjoy that, even Sophia. <laughs> so don't hold back.
battery is cheap. <laughs> Time. Last break. There's a question for you. Oh, a very specific question. What is the benefit of heat molding the Simmons Rana 7 9 shoe? Oh, damn. That's a good question. Uh, I would say the benefit of heat molding that exact boot is the same as heat molding most boots. Um, when you heat mold the standard, inline boot. Uh, I know a little about this because I have my own company, uh, Topskate. You can check it out, topskate.dk. Um, we sell a lot of skates and uh, we also have a lot of experience in heat molding. So when you buy a standard skate, you, uh, in most cases, uh, cases, it already fits your feet perfectly, so there's no reason to, to heat mold it. Just for info, we start with that. Um, if it does not fit, you can heat mold the skate in the oven. Uh, for some skates, you can even boil it. Two, one, go. Let's see for how long I can keep talking before I ran out of oxygen. Um, so you can either boil, it, boil them if they're made for it. Uh, this is the case for Lugino skates or LGO. You can boil those uh, in a special thermo bag. If it's not a Lugino skate, you can heat mold it in the oven. You would want to go for about 15 minutes in the oven, put it at say 80 degrees to 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, just be cautious in the beginning, don't take it too far, switch. And then if it doesn't get soft enough, you can try a little higher temperature. And uh, make sure to watch the eyelets because they're made of metal and can get really hot, so don't burn yourself in those. And then you put the skate on, sit with it for about 10 minutes, let it cool down. And the whole point of heat molding is that the carbon softens, or the carbon fiber, so it kind of shapes uh, around your foot, which makes it a custom-like fit, uh, which in most cases is really beneficial. And switch. That way it sits closer to the feet, you can avoid blisters, and you might even get a little more angle support if it goes closer, and you're capable of steering better have a little more control, just generally a good thing, uh, but not necessary if the skate already fits when you buy it. And switch. Sophia going all the way? No. Okay. God damn, we needed that comment. This is the very last 20 seconds of the whole workout. I like this one better than the last time. The whole workout? Yeah. Oh. Let's see if it gets even better Saturday. <laughs> Five to all of you out there. Yeah, good job. Any bonjour, bonjour. de foutre. Ah. Merci à tout le monde. Uh, S'il y a des Français qui nous écoutent, qui nous regardent, ça fait plaisir. On essaye uh, tout ce qu'on peut de faire uh, ces entraînements de temps en temps pour motiver le monde. Et uh, voilà, si vous êtes français, c'est pour vous aussi. Merci de regarder. Привет. Russia. Спасибо за watching this. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Almost. No, but thanks a lot, everybody. It's yeah. uh, it's been really cool to have you today. Sorry for the technical. Yeah.
we lost a lot of viewers. Uh, I hope that all of those that were watching the first video managed to find this video and managed to do the full workout. Our bad. We'll uh, we'll be better next time. Yeah, we figured it out how it works. So progress. One take. <laughs> one make the same mistake again. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's it. It's not too late to super chat and uh, help us out or. Uh, just check out the rest of the channel. There was a bunch of times in this video where I said, oh, I actually made a video on that. <laughs> uh, I did, so look that up. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah, See you in thanks for Saturday. It's pretty cool to have all of you here. And uh, like, on a serious note, we, we look forward to see all of you again. It helps us too. Yeah, Russian people like that too. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, спасибо. Спасибо за просмотр. Спокойной ночи. But yeah, good night. <laughs> There's time difference. <laughs>